What is going on guys, Ron Man coming back at you and today we're going to be talking about some tips and secrets in Mega Man X. Now when it comes to Mega Man X, there's not a whole lot in terms of secrets. However, I did manage to arrange a few things that you may find interesting, so let's begin. Let's start off with secrets you were meant to find. Perhaps the most well known of all is that you can learn the Hadouken from Street Fighter. Now, everyone knows this, but to sum it up quickly, after you have absolutely everything else in the game, such as all boss weapons, all heart containers and E-tanks, head over to Armored Armadillo stage. Make it to the end of the stage five times with full health, and on the fifth visit, you'll find a secret capsule perched up on this cliff. It's kind of funny how well known this secret is, but there's really no in-game hint for this capsule whatsoever, so I can't imagine anyone actually found this capsule legitimately. But for each time you visit the end of the level, you can actually just jump off and die and it still counts as a visit. Once you get the Hadouken, using it is the same as in Street Fighter, down forward Y. There are three stages which have the capacity to change depending on which levels you've already beaten. These stages are Flame Mammoth, Spark Mandrill, and Sting Chameleon. Flame Mammoth is located in a burning hot factory, although it seems that more often than not, people will experience this stage in much lower temperatures. This is because Chill Penguin is always the first boss you'll want to kill, and by killing him, it'll cause the factory to freeze over. However, if you enter this stage before killing old Chilly Willy, you'll get to enjoy the heat and sunshine of this rockin' factory. Spark Mandrill is located in a power plant. Throughout the stage, you'll have to deal with dark rooms and dangerous sparks. However, if you beat Storm Eagle first, his ship will crash into Spark Mandrill's power plant causing even more darkness. Even though you'll have to deal with more darkness, you won't have to deal with shooting sparks and the mini boss will lose his ability to shoot sparks as well. So that's a decent payoff. Sting Chameleon is located in a dry forest. However, if you shove your foot up Launch Octopus's ass, this forest will be dry no more. This water doesn't seem to have as big of an impact in this stage as the two I already covered, although it makes it much easier to acquire this heart container. But, did you know that it is possible to get this heart container without the water? It's pretty tricky, but it is possible. You'll first need the leg upgrade, the arm upgrade, and shotgun ice. So you're gonna wanna charge shotgun ice and shoot an ice plant platform right here. If you do what I do, you can just barely make the jump and get the heart container. Thankfully, jumping back is much easier. When you're fighting Launch Octopus, you may know that he's weak to Rolling Shield, but did you know that if you use Boomerang Cutter on him, you'll eventually cut off his tentacles? Which means he won't be able to use his Whirlpool attack anymore. Bitch. Also, when you're fighting Flame Mammoth, again, if you use the Boomerang Cutter, you'll eventually cut off his trunk. Now he won't be able to spread that flammable grease or change the direction of the conveyor belt. Bitch. How about some gameplay tips? These are just a few suggestions that might help make the game a little bit easier if you happen to be struggling. The two best weapons are Storm Tornado and Fire Wave, so don't be afraid to use those. If you're looking for defense, Charging Rolling Shield will give you a shield, and Charging Chameleon Sting will make you invincible, so keep that in mind. Mega Man's regular attack is often referred to as a lemon and only does one damage. But if you shoot a lemon while dashing, it'll do two damage. These attacks are often referred to as dash lemons. Keep this in mind, it really does make a difference. Here's a helpful hint. When you're in Launch Octopus's stage, if you shoot a charged storm tornado right here, you can kill the snake before he even comes out of the ground. Normally, spikes are a one-shot kill. This is true for most, if not all, Mega Man games. But did you know that if you hit the spikes on the wall in the elevator in Boomer Kowanger's level, you'll only take damage? But here's something that's kind of neat. If you jump into the spikes, and at the exact moment you make contact, if you press the jump button again, you actually won't take damage. The damage animation will occur, but your life meter won't decrease. Now let's head on back to Flame Mammoth's level. It's possible to actually get above the ceiling. All you need to do is jump up the junk shaft. There's not much you can do here, and if you go too far, the game won't properly load the next part of the level. It doesn't break the game by any means. It is possible to die, but it's just fun to do.
Here's something funny. When you beat Launch Octopus, you'll get equipped with his weapon, the Homing Torpedo, or Horming Torpedo. Yeah, they spelt that wrong. As you all know, this game doesn't save your progress with a battery, but rather a password system. There are actually a few different passwords that cause a major glitch which renders the game unplayable. If you enter any of these passwords, you'll begin the game in the intro stage but with no health and you won't be able to move. All you can do is reset the game. But when you're on the title screen, if you let the demo play, quickly exit the demo, enter this password, and boom. Now you can move, although the game will still be glitched, but now you'll have all heart contained all sub tanks, all boss weapons, but no X armor. That means you can easily play through the intro stage while having fun slaughtering all the enemies who did not expect you to have all these weapons. Surprise, motherfucker! But if you want a real challenge, keep playing. Once you beat the intro stage, you'll be able to move right into Sigma's fortress. Beating the rest of the game without the leg upgrade is possible, but it's very hard, so good luck. And last but not least, I want to share a little easter egg that I found. When you finish the boss fight with Vile, you'll see that they actually programmed Mega Man's thumbnail to be the color of whatever weapon you have equipped. This is not normally viewable under regular circumstances, and using the glitched password is the only way that you can see this, so that's pretty cool. Anyway guys, I want to thank you so much for watching, I'm Ron Man, and I'll see you in the next video.